Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to turn that notification on so that you can get updates, because you're going to miss it. Big timer, no time out. So anyway, thanks for those who've been subscribing. I have to come, come to y'all and talk to you about this. Some people refuse to leave the hood. Some people refuse to leave the ghetto. Whatever you want to call it, or whatever you want to say, <laughs> people who become rich refuse to leave the hood. Now, the reason why I, I, I brought this to your attention is because I've noticed a trend. And I'm going to be brief. I noticed a trend, and it's mainly with uh, these entertainers, these rappers. I love rap music. These rappers who make it rich and still want to go back to the hood. Uh, I've been <clears throat> noticing a lot of this lately because it's, it appears to me that these individuals want to be uh, accepted still, even though they made a lot of money. These individuals want to be down for the hood no matter what. But what they don't realize is that there are a lot of envious individuals in the hood who may be want to be in your shoes, who probably plotting on you. Your friends could be doing it, your relatives. You just never know. The thing of it is, I just don't understand the fact that people who make it rich, make all this money, still want to go back to the hood, still want to shoot dice, still want to hang out on the corner. Isn't that what you uh, made money to get out of? Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing with, with, uh, wrong with the hood. I still live, live in the hood. And I mean, someday I'm going to know. I have aspirations of leaving. But you are... Uh, you know, do your best to try to get out the hood, but yet you want to go back. Uh, I don't know if it's trying to save the hood or prove to your, your friends that you're still down. That creates a great deal of problems for you, your family, everyone else for the simple fact that you have money. Now, if those individuals want to save the hood or want to try to do something, why don't you just do some charity work? Why don't you build something uh, to bring bring up the hood? Why don't you, you know, uh, give back? That's mainly the, the, the way that a lot of individuals are, are doing these days, helping out, or opening uh, uh, centers or, you know, if you see any dilapidated uh, buildings, you know, invest in that. Build that up as opposed to coming out and hanging on the corner and still doing what you do. I don't, you know, I'm not trying to get on my soapbox and tell you what to do. But the thing of it is, why make millions and billions of dollars and still want to go back to the hood uh, and, 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 and hang out with your homeboys and what have you? Look, this, what I've noticed has only happened with like rappers and uh, and there's nothing against rap rap music as far as what I'm, you know, in, in this segment. And I'll talk about some other stuff later. But the fact of it is, I've never heard any R&B artists still making a lot of money, going back to the hood, hanging out on the corner, doing this and that and third. Uh, any any country artists or, uh, you know, even though I follow, I, I love that kind of music. But the thing of it is, it's just mainly these young rappers, young entertainers who want to still be accepted uh, um, by their peers and let them know that, hey, I'm still down regardless, even if I got a lot of money. And in a sense, I would think that you just basically, if I don't have anything I'm in, and I'm in the hood, you, you know, basically, if I ain't no better, you just trying to throw that, in, you know, uh, um, in my face indirectly. You see what I'm saying? So my, in conclusion, my, I don't know who, who would see this video here. Just, you know, try to help out your hood, you know, by doing other things, by, 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 by doing charity work, by, by opening up gyms as, you know, as I said earlier, because that's the way that, you know, I feel that you can get back, open up schools. I mean, uh, create something in the, in the sense to where you don't have to go back and prove that, Hey, I'm still down. So in conclusion, a lot of people, when they're making money, do not want you know want to leave the ghetto, just for fear of them not being accepted. Your record's still gonna sell. If you do good music, believe me, people will gravitate towards you. And it's not just for the rappers. If you're if you're a politician, if you're a lawyer, if you are a doctor, you know, um, you know, there's no need to go back to the hood to basically prove that you're, you're still down. Prove your loyalty. And I know I'm sounding repetitious, but this was on my mind. I had to come to you and tell you. So with that being said, please continue to support Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind.